Hello, everyone. This is Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Morelli shape uh, because I ran into this picture and found out about the Morelli shape, and you will see the resemblance, obviously. Um, this is a mock-up of the Morelli shape. It was done with uh, in conjunction with Nissan and MIT. And you look at the shape of it, and it is uncannily this similar to the shape of the Aptera. And so you can read here, in the late 1970s and mid-1980s, Professor Morelli of Turin Technical University in Italy investigated whether it was possible for a basic body near the ground to have a drag equivalent to a streamlined body in free air. The Morelli body achieved a minimum drag coefficient based on the front area of 0 0.05, matching that of streamlined bodies in free air. A ver version of Morelli's design is shown in figure 9 below, so there's the figure. For a non-steady state driving schedule, the energy consumption attributed to vehicle mass strongly outweighs the energy needed to overcome aerodynamic drag. Including the effects of acceleration and rolling resistance, about 80% of the energy expended during a city driving schedule is mass-related. I think this second paragraph is very important. So we know that Aptera is using the most uh, aerodynamic shape possible for a ground-level um, vehicle. The aerodynamic shape changes as you get rid of the ground effect, but with the ground effect, you need the shape um, to avoid lift and to avoid turbulence below. And that is obviously Aptera. They must have known about this design because it is uncannily similar. The only difference is the wheels are inboard on this uh, because this is a test vehicle and there's probably a single driver in there. Bringing the wheels inboard like this does make it narrower, but then it decreases the cabin space significantly. So in order to have a usable cabin space, they needed to put these... Um, uh, wheels outboard and you know many have asked one of the reasons that people ask why is it so wide it's because they said in one of the webinars that if you put the uh, wheels any closer then the interaction of the airflow around the wheel pants uh, interferes with the w airflow around the main body causes turbulence and increases aerodynamic drag and then if you look at the side profile of the Morelli shape right here, it looks very similar to the side profile of the Aptera. And so this is obviously where Aptera got a lot of their cues from, is from this Morelli design. And I thought that was really kind of cool and um, wanted to let you guys know about it. Okay, the in terms of housekeeping things, a lot of you guys have been wor wondering what's going on with the visit to Aptera. That visit has been rescheduled multiple times now. The, the first time we were scheduled to go, it was one of the rare days that it rains in Southern California. And that would make driving the around in the beta because it has no windows impossible. And then it just make, would make for bad filming. And the traffic gets horrible in Southern California when it rains because no one knows how to drive right in rain. Um, so we canceled that for weather. And then after that, you know, the dates they suggested were not good for me and the dates I suggested were not good for them. Um, they were ha they were have a pretty big uh, schedule in terms of filming. And uh, so we have now rescheduled it for um, early April. So that's hopefully what's going to happen unless something else unusual kind of pops up. So hopefully we'll be visiting them in early April and I'll try to get as much um, content as I can. Uh, I'll be going on vacation for uh, a little bit. So the next couple of weeks will be a little slow on this channel. So uh, bear with me, guys. Okay, well, have a great day and uh, thanks for watching.